This is FE T303 technology element. Which of the following is the most appropriate term that corresponds to the method of illegally intercepting audio and or data being transmitted or received via a network? Is it A. Spoofing, B. Scavenging, C. Phishing, or D. Sniffing? So let's have a look at our definition for sniffing. So sniffing involves illegally capturing, decoding, inspecting and interpreting the information via a network. The purpose is to steal information, usually user IDs, passwords, network details, credit card numbers, etc. Just to name a few. Sniffing is generally referred to as a passive type of attack, wherein attackers can be silent or invisible on a network. This makes it difficult to detect, hence is a very dangerous type of attack. So here we can say D is the most appropriate answer. So let's look at some of the other options that we had in the question. So firstly, A, we were given spoofing. This is a fraudulent or malicious practice in which communication is sent from an unknown source disguised as a source known to the receiver. This is typically done by hiding one's identity or faking the identity of another user on the internet. Spoofing can take place on the internet in several ways. One common method is through email. The spoofer may pretend to be a customer or a supervisor in order to ask for pins, pin numbers or passwords. So in B we were given the definition scavenging. So the definition of scavenging is the act of stealing important information from memos thrown away in the garbage bin, data left in memory or cache and other forms. It is also used as a method of footprinting for prior collection of information about the target of attacks. In C we had phishing. This is an attack that leads a user to a fake website through means such as email pretending to be sent from a real company, e.g. financial institution and other such organisations, and defrauds the user of credit card number, a bank account number, a PIN number and other personal information that can later be used to hack accounts. So we saw our answer was D. In this video we've looked at some of the different types of illegal activities that could occur on a network and what their names are and how they can be used.